Good morning. It's another beautiful, very sunny day actually. And we are heading up quite a fair climb. Um, yeah, we're heading up from um, Morien. Is it? Oh, I can't think what it's called. Saint Jean. Oh, I can't remember Saint Jean Morien. I think. Um, so we're in that town now and then we're just going to climb up. I think it's around 30k from where we are. 30 climb up, 30k climb up and then it's 30k back. So, we, I mean, we drove over that way yesterday and oh my God, those views were just, that, that's the best view I've seen. That was better than Alpe d'Huez views, I would say. It was just beautiful. So, I'm going to set off now, head off. already really hot it's about 25 degrees about 10 in the morning it's gonna be a very hot day <laughs> I'm not complaining it's not used to it these roads are so pretty though stop already because there's a little bit of downhill and they've just come across this and then that oh I know I keep stopping and saying this but wow the views oh my god just the views that's all I need to say the views the views about 4k from the top and it's been definitely my favorite route so far so it's got a little can of coke and we're just gonna head up the mountain it's like such such a nice climb because it's some like little steep bits some steady bits a tiny little bits of downhill we've got tunnels we've got views it's just oh it's just uh, this is definitely my favorite definitely my favorite so far definitely better than Alpe I reckon and you know how excited I was about Alpe d'Huez so this is saying something. We're not even at the very like prettiest point yet, so you wait for some of this footage now. It's gonna be beautiful. Look how hot it is. Oh my god. You don't want to see it. <laughs> it just feels pretty pretty hot. <laughs> Are you feeling it? And Greg, it's got a base layer on. Yeah. He's been living in the tropics for a while, so he's starting to thaw out now. So part way up quite a fair and look at that and then we kept saying there there's like a little let me zoom right in there's a mountain at the top can you see those three and the one on the left I think it looks like a frog and we keep looking for it look bonjour, bonjour. bonjour. that one looks like a little frog And the top is literally just up around that corner, but this is the view here. <sighs> just no words. No words. Just wow. This is, so, this is the best route ever if you get the chance to do it. It was from St. John Morien up to Col. Oh, I can't remember the name of it. I forgot it already. It basically means the Iron Cross. What is it called? Croix de la Fer, that's it. Col de la Croix de la Fer. See, my French is terrible. But yeah, brilliant, absolutely. Mwah! Amazing. Croix de la Fer, and then... Mountains! So many mountains. And then this side, we got the frog again. Say hello to the frog, Greg. I've got the frog. No, I said say hello to the frog. Okay. Hi, frog. 
So we've just sat and had some pineapple juice and now we've got a 30k descent back down to St. Jean de Maurienne. So, oh God, I just love this place. Look. Just love it. I just love it so much. I just love it. It just makes me so happy. So now we have got a, I think it's like a 30k descent down Col de Glandon which will be pretty nice because someone else actually commented yesterday I can't remember if it was on Instagram or YouTube saying you have to go on Col de Glandon that it's better than, better than Alpe d'Huez and I 100% would recommend this climb um, Col de la Quadifer why well, can't I remember these names? Quadifer is just so much better so good, so so good just nice playing out with my mates just, just riding along I'm getting quite hungry though to be honest it's like two o'clock so off we go to discover some more mountains and again wow 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 so this is glandon this is just out of this world oh my god it's just beautiful every corner you turn around it's just i'm just like i need to stop i need to take a picture i just need to get another bit of video to share share the views with you all because it's just ah, so good so good The derail is sort of jammed. The derail is shit because it's all rusted. So basically this needs replacing and it wouldn't shift into the big ring and now we're going downhill and on the flats. That's because your cables So I need to change... Your, get that in your picture. Oh. I think that's because I twisted it round to get it in the box to be honest because I twisted it that way. I've I think that's that probably before. pulled it. Yeah. So Jay and Greg have just basically pulled that so that it's in, it'll stay into the big so we ring. We decable that and we get back. And then short on the cable. We should be able to get it working. Really? Yeah. So they're going to help me with the cables. I say help, they're just going to do it for me. I'm just going to be on hand with Alan Keys. Thank you all. Thank you all. <laughs> and Greg has bought cable cutters and he's got ferrules, but they're green to match. It's love for Genesis. Genesis? Genesis? Genesis, right. Genesis, <laughs> Genesis. But I did like um, Richard's. You just offended every Christian in the planet. <laughs> Richard's um, idea to fix it was Outside just kick it. Didn't you, Richard? You like? It. Can't you just kick it? <laughs> Can't you just kick it and it'll work? <laughs> I love that. And we're back rolling. so bright but I wanted you to see the view in the reflection it's just beautiful so we're back from the ride showered had some food and oh my god I think that is possibly the best 60k route I've ever done it was just insanely beautiful you got this amazingly long climb beautiful I can't those views I just can't even describe how incredible they are and then that amazing descent, like long winding roads and just, oh, I just absolutely love the Alps. So, yeah, we've got some more adventures planned for in the Alps. But if you've got any suggestions of any climbs that you think that we should do or go to, then leave them in the comments. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I am updating, I guess, 
more so on Instagram while I'm here because the internet isn't like strong for uploading videos. So if you want to follow me on Instagram, the link is below. Also, if you want to do the route that we did today, then uh, my Strava link is below. So if you want to go on, you can find the ride and then export the route if you're ever in this area of the Alps. So yeah, lots more route planning to do, lots more mountains to climb and yeah. And oh, and if you haven't subscribed, then consider subscribing to get more cycling content um, from myself. So yes, I will see you in the next video for more adventures cycling in the Alps.